This is like weirdly emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to go to such a weird place. Thank you to Hot Topic for sponsoring this video. <coughs> hey guys, oh my God. I am so excited for this video right now. I cannot express to you, this might be the most nostalgic thing I will ever do on this YouTube channel. I cannot wait. Um, you see the title, I am throwing my 14 year old self a dream Christmas. And if you've been around the block with me on this channel, you know that 14, 2008 was the worst year of my life. And I talk a lot about how that was the year that I lost the majority of my vision, dealt with mental health issues, and was severely bullied felt just really like lost. And there was also a lot of other things going on that I feel like I have maybe touched on here and there, um, but never really like super delved into, which is the fact that by the way, I have full permission to talk about this from my parents and they're very supportive of this video concept. They thought it was a great idea. So I'm not like offending my parents by doing this. Just wanna make that clear. And they know I'm gonna talk about this. But the other thing that happened in 2008 was of course um, the economy crash. In North America and um, my dad was affected by that because he worked in publishing which was an industry that was very affected he published magazines and people stopped buying physical magazines and so my dad actually ended up being out of work for 18 months and we had to sell our family home and it was a really really difficult time it was the most financially difficult time my family's ever had on top of me dealing with everything that I was dealing with. So you can imagine just for our family unit as a whole, this was a very, very challenging time. And we've never been huge birthday people. Like, of course, my parents always threw us a birthday party um, and got us a cake and a gift, but we were never the people who went all out on somebody's birthday. It, birthdays were really low key. Christmas was where my family very much went all out. And this was kind of like that one year where my parents couldn't give us that. They still threw us like the best Christmas they could have ever thrown, but like it wasn't the Christmas we usually got. And if there was ever a year I needed like that kind of fun Christmas, it was that year. And we focused on just doing all of the kind of family traditions that we've always had, which frankly have always been my favorite part of Christmas. You guys know I love to shop. I love things. I, I must admit it. I am a consumer. I, I, I find joy in physical things around me, but even more than that, I find joy in, in being with my family, especially around the holidays. Like It is the thing that means the most to me. So we still had a wonderful Christmas, but you know, that girl who was struggling so much, like I think she would have dreamed of like this Christmas and I'm excited to throw that for her. And I want to thank Hot Topic for helping me do that because Hot Topic is absolutely hands down the destination for gifts for people in your life who are obsessed with music and pop culture like I am and especially was at that time in my life. Like Hot Topic was my dream store. I was obsessed with Hot Topic, but at the time it was like a little out of reach um, but I like was so obsessed with everything they sold. I was definitely um, a scene kid. Um, more than I was emo, I was more scene. I don't know, like Gen Z, I don't know who follows me, but Gen Z might not understand what I'm saying. I don't know if that's like still a term you guys are aware of, but I like very much would wear like band t-shirts or pop culture t-shirts, black skinny jeans, like grommet belts, um, Converse with like skulls and stuff on them um, And I very much wore like black and then very bright colors. That was my palette and it, and, and I oh I also was obsessed with like cutesy kid things like I was obsessed with Hello Kitty Disney stuff like Disney characters at like a Disney backpack and little character bags and like that was kind of my whole aesthetic it was either like dark and moody or very child childlike and playful and it's funny because that was like my outlet. That was my way of, of, of expressing myself. And I think a lot of people who really love pop culture and music can probably relate to me on this. For me, when I did not feel seen or heard or connected to anybody in my physical group around me, I felt seen and heard and understood by the pop culture and the music that I delved into. And so for me, like wearing the t-shirt or the backpack or the hoodie of 
a band or a TV show or a movie that made me feel understood or brought me to a happy place or made me disconnect from what was happening in my real life and brought me to this like special escape, it, it was it was my joy. And like when I think about my whole fashion history, I think that myself, like who I who I find the most joy in thinking back to, ironically, even though it was the darkest time in my life, is the girl who like wore hot topic because I like found so much joy in my fashion outside of just feeling good in what I wore. I feel under I felt understood. And that was like so powerful to me. This is like weirdly emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to go to such a weird place, but I I don't know if that's like relatable to anybody else. But like for me now I love fashion and it brings me joy and it helps me express myself. But it 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 isn't as like deeply meaningful as this era like my scene era was for me in my life like my fashion really meant something to me and it was one of the few things i felt i had it was like my music and my pop culture and my fashion and it was just how i showed the world like how i felt and yeah it just is like the most nostalgic phase in my life despite the fact that it was the darkest era of my life it was also the time of healing and as like silly as it sounds music and fashion were one of like a, a major part of my healing so all that to say i'm very excited for this video and if you have a pop culture or music lover in your life this holiday season or any time of year they are the perfect destination for gift giving go to hot topic you can use my link www.hottopic.com slash molly burke it'll be linked down below for all your last minute holiday gift needs or any time in the future for your gifting pleasure my mom had so much fun picking out all of these gifts <laughs> yes. and wrapping them for me. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. I think we were like reliving the past. I just feel like I'm there right now. I'm in the living room yes. that we were in. Do you feel it? Right? Yes. I literally like, okay, these are our Christmas trees. <laughs> we haven't decorated the past few years um, because our life, as you guys know, the past few years has been quite hectic. Um, and so... That's what I mean, like even this year for, for us, like the holidays, it's really just about being with each other. Like that truly is the most important thing. And um, so we didn't decorate, but we, we put our, we put my, my, my fake plants behind us. So those are our Christmas tree that we're all chilling by and my studio lights are the fireplace. Envision it with me. Um, so yes, I, I really honestly, mom, feel transported back to that house. Yep. I remember when I wore that Christmas. I had red hair. I had red hair for years. I had red hair, very Paramore Haley Williams vibe, if you will. Um, all I wanted that Christmas was like Nightmare Before Christmas, Little Mermaid, Disney Princesses, and like black, black, purple, and white were my favorite colors. And I like would wear guitar picks around my neck and Hello Kitty necklaces and I just wanted like plaid skirts and black eyeliner. I didn't do the whole hair and makeup and jewelry aesthetic for you. I'm sorry I didn't go all out, but I'm really excited. So I don't know where to start. Oh, my stocking. Well, that's where I should start, obviously. Can you yes, pass along my stocking? I'm quite excited for you with this. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so one thing we have done. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys can see him, but Gallop is at my feet, Sir Gallop or Gooseman. And Benix is like quite perturbed because he's like, um, I sit at her feet. And Gallop is like, I came to work today with grandma. I'm sitting at her feet. So Gallop won, he's at my feet. Grunkle Gallop won. Um, so one thing we did growing up is through the eras of my childhood. Um, we change stockings. I know some people have like the same stocking their whole childhood. This is what I love about Christmas is traditions. And like I said, my family was filled with traditions. And one of the things is like, we changed our stockings through our, through our years. So my mom would like get a stocking that like fit us at that era. And so I guess I got a handbag in this era as my stocking, which is iconic and very Molly. Okay, so what's... What's it look like? Well, if you turn it around the oh. other way. <laughs> Ariel, it's Ariel, Molly. You love Mariel. Mariel? Did you <laughs> say? Sorry, you love Mariel. 
I mean, you guys know I love to mermaid swim, which I still do to this day, by the way, in case you're wondering, just because I don't make videos about it anymore does not mean I don't mermaid swim. I do. And um, I always loved mermaids. I always loved Ariel. Ariel and Pocahontas were like my two favorite Disney princesses. And to be honest, I think I liked Ariel. It's funny because I liked them from my childhood. Like those were always my two favorite princesses. And I think I liked them because they were the different princesses at that time. Like they were the princesses that were like a little more unique and different. And I think I just always knew like that was who I was growing up. I didn't, I wasn't like the other kids, you know, so. I've always loved Ariel, so I'm kind of obsessed with this. This is really cute. All these products, by the way, everything I can link will be linked down below. So don't you worry. If you like something that I'm showing, I will link it. Let's see what I got in my stocking. Ooh, look, she fancy. She wrapped. <laughs> I my mom always wrapped everything yes. in our stockings, yes. which Just I always love. Make it go a little slower, <laughs> a little bit more exciting. Comment your Christmas traditions down below. Some of ours were that we would wake up and oh wait. Oh my god, I didn't even tell you about my shirt. Wait, backtrack. Okay, speaking of traditions, one tradition is the on Christmas Eve, we would get to open one gift and it was always pajamas. This Jack Skellington t-shirt that I'm wearing is what my mom got me as my pajamas because at that phase of my life, which is funny because I'm very different now, but at that phase of my life, I would only wear like a band tee or a movie tee with patterned pajama pants. So this is the tea, the Nightmare Before Christmas shirt, which I think is purple, black and white. Is that what you told me? Yes, so it's black background and then white, uh, the, the figures are white. Do you wanna put the bag down so we can see a little bit more? And oh. there's the witch, and there's the devil, and there's the uh, like the funny guy. But you said there's purple, right? Yeah, the, and the bats are like purple, lavender purple. See, okay, so like. It's very huge. This was perfect for me. And so I would totally have worn this with like polka dot pajama bottoms, but I would never have worn like a matching set. Whereas now I will only wear a matching set. How times change. Also at the time I thought glitter was tacky. Now I'm obsessed with glitter. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell my nails are super glittery. Anyways, so um, in the Christmas morning, we'd run downstairs and we'd get to open our stocking and my mom would wrap everything individually in our stocking. And then we would have a breakfast, we would sit down, we'd have a full English breakfast, Irish breakfast, black pudding, eggs, bacon, sausage, homemade Irish soda bread, like the whole nine yards, tea, everything. And then we would get to open our gifts and we'd each open them one by one and it would go youngest to oldest and we'd go around in a circle until everything was opened. And it just gave like everybody their special moment. It made it drew everything out, like everything was slow. And it also, I feel like was really good because it set boundaries. Like we, even on Christmas day had rules. Like you got to open your stocking, but then you had to have breakfast and then you can open your gifts. And I really love that. So we were just stretching out the day. <laughs> trying to make it last because Molly was up at 5 a.m. every Christmas. Um, so yes, this was my PJ shirt. Now let's open my stocking. Please. All my gifts around me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What are Oops. they? That's too close. <laughs> They are skeleton gloves. Oh, fingerless. Oh my god. Oh I mean, my god. Definitely would have worn oh those. Oh my god. These are so Molly 2008, 2009. Like, this is iconic. I would have been the lead singer of my pop punk band that I was in at the time called Bury Me Fighting. Originally, Audio Breakdown, but then we changed our name when a few members changed. Then I dated the lead guitar player. We broke up. I ruined the band. It's fine. But these, I would have worn to our little performances at the local pubs, absolutely. Oh, yes. oh my God, these yeah, with, with skirts, literally these the with tops. this. Yeah. Like this would have been what I wore to our concert with black skinny jeans and my skull converse. My skull, skirts, remember yes, my little skirts? Yes, my little pleated skirts, like my little, oh my God, so stinking cute. Oh my God, I want to <laughs> be her again. She was struggling, girl, don't get me wrong, but like, you know what? Our struggle is what makes us who we are. So like, I appreciate her deeply. Okay, what else? <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, also, funny thing. Oh, oh, Ben's interested. Now Gallup and Ben are both here. Hey, Ben. Ben's like, what's happening, mama? This is the first time he's seeing me open gifts. Do you want to try to help? No, he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> His tail is wagging though. But he doesn't know how. He says, I'm too well trained. I don't do that. What do we got? beautiful pastel stripy socks. Okay, so my style was always like very bright and pastel-y in like 
the spring summer and then very dark and moody and like deeper colors in the winter also these feel like they're knee highs which was totally my vibe because like we keep saying i was very into like the skirts the pleated and plaid skirts so this was like these with one of my pleated skirts and like my sneakers with a band tee oh my god so stinking cute yes okay i love this i love this for 14 year old molly what else do we have ben what else do we have get up also, okay, very funny, when I was younger, before my parents knew that I couldn't see, because I've been legally blind from birth, and so before my parents knew I couldn't really see, what I would do, like, I was like three, four years old, I would take a gift and I would leave the room. Yep. To, <laughs> I would leave the I think room. you're still a bit the same. <laughs> well, let me explain why, okay? So I would leave the room and I would like open it in private and I would try to see what it was. And then I would enter the room and I'd hold it behind my back and I'd go, guess what I got? And then I'd show them. And I think the reason I did it and sometimes still like to open things in private is because not only am I more of a giver when it comes to gifts than a receiver, and I'm not saying that to be like holier than thou, truly when I was like five, six years old, people would say, you can verify this mother. People would be like, are you excited to get gifts this Christmas? And I'd be like, I'm excited to give gifts. Well, no, yeah, I know, but you just... In the time you were a little toddler. Gift giving is my love language. So not only do I feel uncomfortable like opening gifts sometimes because I'm more of like a gift giver than a receiver. Um, but I think more than that, it was like, I really, when you open gifts in front of people, everybody reacts. We're like, oh my God, that's so cute. Oh my God, so you. But I couldn't see what it was. So I would get like upset because I couldn't see what it was and everybody else was already reacting. So I feel like I liked to like do it in private and kind of like figure out what it was. And that's, ooh, ooh, is this a card holder? It's a little card holder with Winnie the Pooh on it and his honey pot. Okay, well not only is the honey pot very me now with my bees, but like, okay, Winnie the Pooh and, oh my God, what's his name? The dinosaur. He's a purple dinosaur with lots of imagination. Uh, Barney? Barney and <laughs> friends! So Winnie the Pooh and Barney were like my favorite shows growing up as a child. And uh, I, for my, like, it was my fourth birthday. All I wanted was a piglet. Ooh, a piglet, yes. And that was your third birthday. My Could third, okay. My third birthday, all I wanted was a stuffed piglet. And my dad ran all around the city trying to find a stuffed piglet for me. And I still have it to this day. If you're wondering, the bag does have a strap with it. I don't know about anybody else or if this is still like a cool thing in high school or middle school, but I used to bring bags like this as my school bag. Just saying. Okay, one more thing in the stocking. <gasps> I think somebody knows I what think that is. He does. This is a dog toy, isn't it? It is. It's and a Miss Kitty dog toy. So Gypsy was my guide dog at the time, my brand new guide dog, and she would have loved a Hello Kitty dog toy. As does Ben, frankly, <laughs> apparently. But Gypsy with this mom? Yes. Oh my God. The girl. Oh yeah. This was for Gypsy, I know it. So we have Gallup and Ben here, but Gypsy's spirit is the one. But they're good at sharing. But, okay, Ben. Maybe if we take the labels off. We yeah, well I can take the labels off Ben. Ben, excuse me. You are so toysy. Gallup literally couldn't care. Could not care. Oh, but, oh uh, just because uh, I'm saying it now, he does. Oh, oh the no. two of them. Oh, dear. We're going to fight the boys. Over. Look, the boys. <laughs> oh, Ben won. They're too cute. We should get Gallup a toy. We got to get Gallup a toy. Okay. RIP Hello Kitty toy. You are now in slobbery Ben's mouth. He know. says, well, I don't really like toys unless he has one. Then no. I like toys. Okay. I've been curious about this one. Also, I can see why now my mom always gets me to wrap all the gifts. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. It's not your, it's not your finest <laughs> skill name. It's just not. But I love the effort. Thanks, mom. It's a Winnie the Pooh. Now you've gone turned the other way. Yes, there. It's a little Winnie the Pooh. A little stat. Okay, so I had these shelves in my room. And this was, oops. We found the squeaker. Oh, well, maybe, I mean, sure. <laughs> we can get, I mean, it's a little pretty hard, maybe. So, and this one does something that's kind of like a modern one, I believe. Don't. Oh, oh, look who else is oh. in there. Ben, calm down. So you have a little kitty toy. So, this is very much the type of thing that I would put on shelves in my room. Oh, my I, God, Mom, they have a piglet as well. What? And an Eeyore. You should have got me the piglet and the Eeyore. Yeah, sorry. I'm just kidding. This is very kind of you. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Um, I like that it has bees on it because 
you know, it's, he look guys, he's like sitting in a honey pot. You can feel the, I can feel the honey this all is so you. dripping over. This is so stinking meat. That's why I didn't get pigless. I love this. So this is, yeah, very much the kind of thing. I had these shelves in my room and I would put things like this and a Batman. I had a Batman bobblehead. Do you remember my Batman bobblehead? Oh, yes. Is that funny? Yes. Now that you say it, but I, I didn't until you said it. Yeah, now. and I had all these posters on my room, on the walls in my room. Oh, my God. So this is very much something I would have plopped on my shelf with all my other little cute figurines. Thank you, Mom. You're Ooh. most welcome, Mom. This is so fun. Okay. Ooh, are these socks? Yes, you always got socks. You still I mean, always get socks. I still want socks for Christmas this year. Socks are just like an essential thing to get at Christmas. Am I right? Yes. Well, I think so. In our household, comment, let me know about your household. What do they look like, Mama? They're so cute. There's little cats. There's Dumbo. There's Bambi. Oh, like all the Disney characters? Yeah. Is there a Bambi? Is there Bambi? Is there Bambi? Turn it around. Yeah, there's Bambi. So they're Disney. All the Disney ones. They feel cozy. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited to put those on. Absolutely. We'll be rocking those. Ooh, this one's heavy. What do we have in here? <gasps> Ooh, it's like a mini backpack. Little strawberries on it. Oh my god, that's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. This is not only like 2008 Molly. This is like 2018 Molly, who just moved to Los Angeles. Like, right? Right. I would have rocked this all over. Pretty so much. So many backpacks. Like all of those years, I would have rocked. I would rock this from 2008 to 2019. Frankly, I would still rock this today. This is really cute. <gasps> the zipper pull is a strawberry. Aww. Is it like a pastel thing? Yes. This is. And little dots on this. Little white polka dots. I'm obsessed. I loved mini backpacks at the time. I had so many mini backpacks and I would like thrift a lot of them. And yeah, I was obsessed with my mini backpacks, all different like animals on them and prints and characters on them. That was like the only handbag I would use was mini backpacks and frankly kind of still is. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, a bucket hat? Hmm. Wait, what way does it Very you. What does it look like? Oh, it's Sailor Moon. It's Sailor Moon, of course. You see, I've forgotten, to be honest. I kind of packed these up <laughs> a while back. Typical my mom, every, like, every Christmas. <laughs> every Christmas. She, like, something would happen. And, like, <laughs> she'd Christmas. forget what she got us. And she'd, like, literally, like, authentically be reacting. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> and, like, just have no idea that she had gotten it. Or, like, she would do this thing one, one Christmas. She accidentally mislabeled all of mine as my brother's yes. and my brother's as mine and so oh we would God. open it and go oh no sorry that's for your brother and, like, <laughs> and then you'd open it and there'd be sticky notes on it that said like from nana <laughs> <laughs> like she was like labeling them for herself it was so <laughs> funny my parents always call it the complaints department and every Christmas, like, because, you know, your kids, you're bratty sometimes. And every Christmas, like, whenever one of us would, like, complain about something, like the presents being miswrapped or something, they'd be like, complaints department is open for the day. <laughs> A whole day of Christmas of complaints. Aww. Mostly they were very happy, but, you know, there was... I feel like we were good kids. kids. You were really good kids. This is also something I would wear to this day. I feel like both of both of these last two things are still, like, my energy, my vibe to this day. I loved Sailor Moon growing up. I don't know about anybody else. Comment what your favorite, like, okay. Comment, like, your age now, if you're comfortable, and what you would have wanted at 14. Like, what your dream Christmas at 14 would have been. I'm very curious. Whether that was in the 80s, the 70s, the 2000s, like, let me know. Ooh, I think we've got she just wants the frame to look full. <laughs> what do we have here? And that is, do you remember Jack the Pumpkin King, hero of Halloween Town? Jack Skellington! Okay, I had this bag from Hot Topic. It was black and white stripes, and it had a dark purple lining. Again, my favorite colors. And then it had a big tactile Jack Skeleton face on it. Do you remember that, Mom? Yes, oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? Big Nightmare for Christmas fan right here. Well. That, that's a pillow. <laughs> okay, we have two left. 
Yes, I believe those two last. I have been spoiled this Christmas. Thank you, Mama. Yeah, I was just making up for the one that was a little bit weak. Again, I mean, I still have so many like fond memories of that Christmas. It was just like overall a very rough year for our family. You know, like it was rough. It was rough. <laughs> it was really rough. But we got through it. We survived, and we are still like a thriving family. Love, love gets you through a lot. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, is this a hoodie? That is a hoodie with brats on it. Do you remember the brats? I freaking it's so many of the dolls. I loved the Bratz dolls. This is iconic. Honestly, this is iconic. This is really cute. Oh, it's nice and thin too. It's like perfect for one that LA winter vibe. I love this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I totally would have rocked that then and honestly now. Bratz are iconic. Oh, I have two gifts left. Oh, is it two? Yeah, this oh, there's two. Mm -hmm. You did very well. <laughs> I did. Thank you, mom. You spoiled me. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's so you. This is? This so is you. literally, I've been mentioning the skirts. This is exactly the vibe. And I think eventually I did get one at Hot Topic. And it literally, it had the grommet belt and it, it was pleated and it was plaid. And it was like all these different colors. Do you remember? And it had like the things hanging down. Yes, it was gorgeous. Oh, kind of like that, but like they were like attached. Yeah. What color is this one? That one's black with white stripes. Okay, so I would have absolutely worn that with this top. Yep. And my Converse. Mm -hmm. And we've got the final gift, which is also kind of a heavy one. Wow, I genuinely feel like this has been Christmas morning. I can't remember what's in any of these bags. So when they come out, I'm like, oh yeah. So typical of you. <laughs> I think that's the bottom of the bag. I think I pulled out the bottom of the bag. Uh, these are tarot cards. It's the shape of a coffin, yes? Yes, and it's a nightmare before Christmas. Yes, obviously, newly blind Molly would not be able to read these. We um, probably would have gotten, gotten them braille for you. If you could, braille's a tricky beast to find. My family would sometimes get like cards brailled for me like you can get stickers and braille it and then like stick them on each card um but also i feel like tarot cards is something i could do with friends and i have always been really into this stuff i feel like especially on my healing journey things like tarot readings and psychic readings and crystals and energetic healing is something that my family and i really got into because we needed something to hold on to honestly and this was like something that gave us like hope that the future will be okay and so i feel like this is the perfect final gift for this era of molly's life oh this was really fun thank you mom and so for welcome. helping me with this it was so fun thank you to my mom and dad for letting me talk about this and being very supportive of this video and just my overall career and me and I am who I am today and I am where I am today because I've had such an incredible family and despite the immense challenges we have faced at times in our lives as a family, I'm so proud to say it's only ever brought us closer together. Even when we felt torn apart, we rebuilt and I just couldn't be more grateful and I think more and more the older I get, I'm just grateful to have my family and nothing else at Christmas matters anymore but having my family and that's why as much as I am like a Christmas Christmasaholic, Chris, Chris, Christmaholic, um, and grew up with like a month worth of traditions. And I, I literally would like dread Christmas Day because I loved Christmas time so much. And I knew when Christmas Day ha happened, like everything that led up to it was gone. We spent 25 years going and cutting down our own Christmas tree at the same Christmas tree farm that was a two hour drive away every year. And we just we all decorate the tree together and we we've always been like a family who did things together and Christmas more than ever was a time where we did things together and so it holds so many memories in my heart and it's difficult because the last four or five years everything's changed you know five years ago my brother moved to Europe four years ago I moved to LA with my mom my dad stayed in Canada and I've moved five times in the last few years and so it's been very hard to like decorate and um, feel settled and have those traditions anymore and as sad as losing some of those traditions has been over the years I've realized more and more that like all I really care about is just being with my family 
I just want to be with my family at Christmas and decorating a tree together and doing all of these other traditions like opening PJs on Christmas Eve and none of those things yes they're great still but none of those things actually matter like truly they don't and um so this was like a fun nostalgic video but in no way am I saying like I'm not grateful for the Christmas I had in 2008 it was still amazing um this was just like a fun idea I had and I wanted to share it with you guys and maybe it brought you a bit of nostalgia as well and I want to thank again Hot Topic for sponsoring this video don't forget for your pop culture and music lovers to shop Hot Topic at www.hottopic.com slash Molly Burke, link down below. They're a great place for all of your pop culture needs all year round, so never hesitate to hit up Hot Topic. And until next time, you can click up here to see me take my guide dog to the snow for the first time, or you can click over here to see me, as a blind girl, attempt to bake some no-bake baked goods for the holidays. Love you guys. Bye.